you know, when I walked in here for the first time and I interviewed with Lisa, I was like, wow, this, this is huge. This is, this is big. I'm here. I'm representing the brand. How am I going to represent me? First got into Zumba, um, that was the only thing to talk about, really. Yeah. Because Zumba was the format that connected both of my worlds together. This is something that I started at the age of almost 40. Never danced publicly before in my life. I was always focused as a Hispanic in New York City to be successful. I am the first generation here for my parents. Uh, I was born on the mainland where my parents was born on the island. So it took a lot for us to acclimate. Uh, being here in a strange city, not knowing anyone, but being in the best city of the world. The moment we went to the neighborhood bodega and heard that little salsa coming on, <laughs> and heard that little merengue or the reggaeton coming on as we we're shopping for our canned goods, I knew I was in the right place at the right time. Having my dad do Zumba and be so in tune makes me in tune as well. I've learned that if I stress about what other people think about me and if I don't just appreciate myself, just being a Hispanic as it is, um, I'm gonna be stressed out all the time, <laughs> all the time. So you know what? I came to peace, I'm happy, and I wouldn't wanna change that. Wouldn't wanna be anything else but Hispanic. Family is everything to me. For me, it's, the reason why I get up. It's the reason why I move. You know, I hear a song, I connect it to my wife. I hear a song, I connect it to my kids. When I look into my students, I turn around and I see them, I see a rainbow of colors in my class, all there appreciating the music that I love. As a real Puerto Rican, a true Puerto Rican, uh, a, a type of uh, word that we use to showcase our excitement is huepa. Whenever you hear a wepa, wherever you are, whether it's in the bodega, whether it's in the block party, and in the park, it has, to be, loud. It has to be super loud. You know, hey, that's a Puerto Rican because they're happy. So when I'm in the music and I'm in my zone and I scream out wepa, the entire class does it too. Wherever you come from, if you have that Latin or that Hispanic culture, you already have something. You have an obligation to be able to be in a place like New York City and make it happen. Not to just coast by. Yeah, it's gonna be hard. But being a Hispanic in New York City is you have an opportunity to make things happen. So take it. Yeah. Take the opportunity. Set up.